So you've discovered side quests for the first time and you're very confused about developer mode, or maybe you have an APK file that you want to add to your quest too. How the heck do you do this? Let's cut the chit chat and get right in. In order to be able to use side quests, you're going to have to make a side quest account as well as enable developer mode for your Oculus slash Meta account. But don't worry, this isn't as intimidating as it sounds. Literally anyone can do this. Just go to dashboard.oculus.com and create a name for your organization. Then just accept the developer agreement. You will also need to install some developer drivers. I'll provide a link for this in the description below. But basically once downloaded and extracted, right click the Android underscore WinUSB INF file and click install. Now go to the Oculus app on your phone, go to menu, devices, then under headset settings, go to developer mode and make sure the toggle is enabled. Make sure your headset is on or you might not be able to enable developer mode. Now connect your Quest 2 to your computer using your USB-C cable and in your headset you'll see something that asks to allow USB debugging. Check always allow from this computer then OK. If you are having issues still at this stage and you have an unlock pattern enabled for your headset, you may want to try disabling that in your Quest settings. Anyway, you'll know you're all set up in side quest when you have the program open on your desktop. You'll see a green dot at the top left of the window. Now for side loading an actual game or app. Make sure that your quest is plugged in and that you see a green dot appear here on the side quest app. Either browse side quest for a game or app that you want and click download, but keep in mind some apps require purchases. Or if you have an APK file that you want to add to your quest, simply go to this icon right here, navigate to the file and select open. Then if you click over here, you'll be able to see the status of the upload. Once it's done, it will show up as green. And that's all there is to it. Enjoy a whole new world of possibilities when it comes to your quest. Besides being able to sideload from your PC, SideQuest also has a mobile app for Android and the ability to have the app directly in headset. But you will still need developer mode enabled for your Oculus slash Meta account for any and every method. If you want a SideQuest mobile tutorial, let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can scrounge something up for you. Or if you want a tutorial on how to be able to get the in-headset SideQuest app working, I do have a VR Wave article that I've created on this that you can find right here, but I'll also post a link to it in the description below. If you liked this video, I have many more tutorials that guide you through things like how to be able to record and stream VR, mixed reality, and much, much more. As always, keep on creating and never lose that drive to improve. I'll see you on the next one.